Hi everyone. In this video we're going to look at flexible budget variances um, specifically around the variable manufacturing costs. Um, so what we have here is the static budget, the flexible budget and the actual results um, from a particular company. Um, this is the same setup that we had in the previous video. Now with this the flexible budget variance analysis analysis will only focus on the flexible budget and the actual results and the differences within them. So we can actually ignore the static budget from this point. So if we take the flexible budget and actual results, as I said, we're going to focus on the variable manufacturing costs, which have a an unfavorable variance of $5,200. Now this var variable manufacturing cost um, we break that down into material, into labor, and into the variable overhead component. Um, with the flexible budget amount, we had $64,000 for materials, $96,000 for labor, and $24,000 for overhead. Um, the actual results, we had $63,840 for material, $101,640 for labor, and $23,720 for variable overhead. Now, importantly, and if you look up at the top there, um, the number of units produced and sold in both cases are the same. So the actual quantity of output is the same. Now the first one we'll have a look at is around direct material. So this $64,000 in terms of the flexible budget amount came from built-in standards um, that this company came up with before this particular period. So in this case to make each unit would would require 20 meters um, of whatever material it is at $2 per meter. So 20 multiplied by $2 multiplied by 1,600 units gives you $64,000. The actual results, um, we've just been told that they use 33,600 meters at $1.90 per meter. Multiply those two out, gives you 63,840. So that's where those two numbers come from. Now, the setup that we see, and I'm going to follow how the textbook does it, so it actually flips the actual side and the flexible side, but just bear with me. So the actual cost and the flexible budget amount. The comparison between the two is the overall variance. The actual cost comprises the actual quantity of whatever it is you're using times the actual price of whatever it is um, you're using. The flexible budget amount is the standard quantity. Um, now remember, this is the standard quantity to go into each unit of output, and it's the unit of output that you end up using, which is the actual output. So this is um, the 20 meters of material, for example. And the standard price is whatever you were going to pay for it. What we put in the middle is... I'll come back to this. Now if we look at those two boxes, there are two variables in each, quantity and price, and they're both different. One is actual, one is standard, and that means to compare between the actual cost and the flexible, bu flexible budget amount, it could be driven by a quantity difference, or it could be driven by a price difference. So what we set up in the middle is a number which will allow us to disentangle what is causing the overall variance. So in the middle here we keep one variable, in this case price, the same as what happens with the flexible budget. So we use standard price and then we use the actual quantity which is the same as actual in the actual cost side of things. So to go from flexible budget to the blue the only thing which varies is quantity. To go from the blue to the actual, the only thing which varies is price. So we can actually break it down. So we'll start throwing the numbers in. So actual quantity, we're told, is 33,600 meters. Actual price is $1.90 per meter. The flexible budget amount was 20 meters for the 1,600 units. Gives you 32,000 meters. The standard price was $2 a meter. We then take the $2 across, um, so it's using the standard price, and then we take the 33,600 meters across because it's using the actual quantity. And so we've set up this middle point. And now it's a matter of just calculating these numbers. We end up with the actual cost of 63,840. 
we end up with the flexible budget amount of $64,000 and working out the blue we end up with 67200 so what does this represent the difference between the yellow and the blue is unfavorable because the flexible budget is kind of your expectation so as you move from right to left if the numbers are bigger that's unfavorable and because we're keeping the price constant this is very much focusing on usage so in this case it's three thousand two hundred dollars unfavorable because you used more material than you expected as we move from the blue to the red we're looking at a price variance because we're keeping the quantity constant and in this case it is favorable 3360 turning now to direct labor and it works very much in the same fashion as direct material we have standards so the five hours per unit at twelve dollars per hour multiply that by sixteen hundred units gives you ninety six thousand uh, dollars for actual results we were told that you have eight thousand four hundred hours at twelve dollars ten per hour multiply that through gives you a hundred one thousand six hundred and forty dollars same setup actual flexible and we have the blue in the middle so actual quantity is eight thousand four hundred hours actual price is twelve dollars ten on the flexible budget side the standard quantity is five hours times sixteen hundred units is eight thousand hours the standard price was twelve dollars per hour moving now into the middle standard price moves across so you got twelve dollars per hour in the middle and actual hours comes across so you get eight thousand four hundred hours then simply multiply everything through so we end up with one hundred and one thousand six forty is the actual cost ninety six thousand dollars as the flexible budget amount and one hundred thousand eight hundred dollars as the middle amount again as we move from the flexible budget to the actual if the numbers get bigger that's unfavorable this first variance is usage because it's based on hours. So we've got a $4,800 unfavorable variance. Um, and that is because we used more hours than expected. As we move from the blue to the red, we have an $840 unfavorable variance because the rate which we actually got on labor was slightly higher than the rate we expected. Turning now to the last of the variable manufacturing cost variable overhead and again this works much the same um, with one small tweak so we have five hours per unit at three dollars per hour now that three dollars per hour is an allocation against labor hours it's just the way that in this case variable overheads are being allocated um, multiply that through gives you twenty four thousand dollars actual results are just given twenty three thousand seven twenty so the setup is very much the same but for actual, we're just given the actual amount of 23,720. Standard quantity is five hours at 1,600 units, gives you 8,000 hours. Standard price is $3 per hour. Standard price goes across. The actual quantity is what we had from earlier, is the 8,400 hours. And then just multiply things through. We end up with $24,000 as a flexible budget amount. 25,200 as the middle amount. As we work our way across, we end up with an efficiency variance of 1,200 unfavorable, and we end up with a spending variance of 1,480 favorable. And that is working through the variable manufacturing costs variances.